In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly resize an image in WordPress. And there's three things I want to go over. I want to go over what image sizes are and the pixels and how big they are on your computer so that when people are coming to your website, they're loading images really quickly. And I want to go over why some images load slower than other images. And the third thing I want to go over is how to use WordPress's resizing tool so you could properly resize the image so that they don't take a lot of space on your computer when your users are downloading your website. So let's get started. Let me show you how to properly resize a WordPress image. Let's say I have a picture like this that I want it to look like this. I don't want it to be full width, which is like this. I want it to be somewhere along the lines of this uh, spacing right here, this width. So this width right here is between 700 and 600, and that's what I want. So the there's two ways of doing this. You could drag the first way I'm going to show you, and this is the proper way of doing it. You could get your images, let's say we get them online from Pixabay, and I'm going to take you through this step by step here. So let's go to Pixabay. Dot com and this is where you can get free images without having to pay for it and you uh you know you don't have to get any copyright infringement or get in trouble later so you this is the site i use to get free images so let's just go on here and let's download maybe this image right here and you'll see that it says free download right here and it's going to give you some options if you want your image really, really big, then go ahead and get the original large or small. But let's say you don't have, you have an image, but you don't have any of these options. Let's just say you just have this option right here. And these are the dimensions. These are the pixels. So this is width times height. And typically, if you're going to have a smaller image, 640 is probably the best. If you're going to have like what's called a slider image, then 1920 is probably good. I like to stick with the medium one right here, the slider. But let's say you took the picture yourself and it's really big. It's like 4,000 uh, pixels. If you took it on a camera or your iPhone, then you're probably going to get something like this. But I'm going to go ahead and pretend that you're getting these pictures from maybe your camera or some other place online, and it's not giving you options like this uh, of it already resized and stuff. And if you also notice that it's going to tell you how many kilobytes these are. So the more kilobytes, the longer it's going to take to download th this image if you put it on your website. So you definitely don't want to have this on your site with this many kilobytes. And I'm going to show you, let's just pretend we got this image and I'm going to go ahead and let's say sign in, sign in and I could go ahead and sign in and download. You don't have to sign in, uh, but, but to get the big image you do. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get this large image right now just to show you what I'm talking about. All right, so that just downloaded right here, and I'll, I could show it to you. It's in my downloads area, and it is a really, really, really big image. In fact, I could probably zoom in on it, and it will get really nice. But you don't want to put something like that that big on your website. You want to use that for like print purposes and stuff like that to print out brochures or whatnot. Going back to your website, I'm going to go ahead and add that image um, under this image maybe. Um, and I could do that by just going under my basic modules here and I'm going to go under photo. Now you could do this if you have the Tesseract theme it gives you the option to have this what's called the Beaver Builder in installed here. And I'm going to go ahead and select a photo. And I'm going to upload this photo just like you would of uploading any photo to your, um, to your website. So let's do this. And this is the big image right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just upload this. It's going to take a little bit of time for the whole image to upload. 
Right, so there it is. The image has uh, completed uploading, and it's four thousand pixels by two thousand six 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 six, and um, and that's not that, that's a huge picture, right? That right there. And I could go ahead and edit this picture, which I'm going to show you how to do in just a bit. But first, let me show you why you don't want to just have this big picture on your website as it is. So I'm going to go ahead and select that image, and it's going to drop it in here. Um, and right there and it and WordPress does give you an option to make it a large image or medium and what they consider medium I, I actually consider quite small so I'm gonna make it medium and then I'm gonna look at it and it's like wait a minute I don't want it that small I want it somewhere between large let's make it large and and uh, medium what if I wanted it this this big right here you know I had a certain size in mind and I didn't want it I didn't want it this big I want it a little smaller but I definitely didn't want it you know uh, the, the medium way and let's go back to making it 400 I'm going to show you how to properly edit this and make it the, the size you want within WordPress but first I want to show you why you don't want it this big on your site so let's press done publish and let me show you how big this this image really is so if you right click this image and go to copy image address if you're on like chrome or something i'm going to add a new tab here and then i'm going to paste that up here notice how big this image is so that means every user that goes to your website is actually downloading all of these pixels and that just makes your site load um, take a lot long time to load you don't want that because people will start bouncing off your site you want them to see a nice quality image like this but you don't want it to be big like this if you want an image like on a slider like this uh, 1200 pixels is just fine and somewhere in, in between 1200 pixels to 1000 that's just fine so if you want it big like this I would just click on this and I would change it to maybe 1000 or something like that and then it will kind of shrink it down but um, I'm going to show you how to make it even smaller in between the 300 and the thousand right now so let's get into this click on edit once you're in here and then I'm going to go ahead and click on edit image right here just like that and now I'm in here and WordPress gave us the ability to edit this and scale it down so I'm going to make it 700, somewhere in between uh, that 1,000 and the 4,000. I want it to be like 700. I'm going to scale that down and click scale. And notice what happens when it goes 4,000. Notice the the height also changes, and that's good because you want it to be um, uh, proportionate in size. You don't want this girl to look skinnier or fatter when it stretches it out, and that's what would happen if it didn't change this the width as well so it changes it in proportion to the the height so I'm gonna press scale and there it is it scaled it down and I'm gonna press update and there it is it updated it now I'm gonna go back to the actual image itself um, and let's go here and let's get out of here because I, I came from here and let's cancel this I'm gonna refresh this page sometimes you have to refresh the page to actually get the new image in there so I'm gonna click on this and then I am notice it does the full size so if I go to edit image now that image that you downloaded is no longer 4,000 it's 7,100 and that's a good size for let's just say what I want it to be just this size right here and why that's good let's publish these changes is because now when somebody goes to a site it's not loading all those pixels like we talked about before it's only loading this size of the pixels so that's a really 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 good thing to to not have the users load all the pixels so for this one right here if I copy this image address this one is is really big and I should not have done it like this and the way I did it on this one is I just kinda scaled it with these tabs right here so what I did here I I just added simply out of rows you know and then I pushed the picture in the row 
and then I moved it around just like this. And this is something you could do, but you want to make sure that your image is small enough um, before uh, you add it on your website. So when people are downloading or going to each page, it's small enough. So a good image for a gallery is anywhere from 700 to 1,000, um, but you just play with it. See how it looks. And a good image size for right here is anywhere from 1,000 to 2,000 pixels wide right here. And these are the pixels that, are, you know, um, that I showed you before when you want to edit the image, you want to edit these pixels. These are the pixel sizes right here. And when you edit it, you want to make sure that you edit those, um, those pixels correctly when you go into this editing tool that I showed you right here. All right. So I hope this video helps. Let us know if you have any questions and um, we're here to help.